We've been utilizing the MedWork system for many years now. Uh, we're involved very early on in its developmental stages and found that it was a very good tool that was not too simplistic, but on the other end of the spectrum was not too complicated. That it could actually be well understood by both the clinician who was utilizing the tool, whether that was the nurse or the physician, and people who were in the management end of healthcare. It actually helped to create a more common language to understand patient care, patient need for hospital, and ultimately the flow of patients through a hospital. We are the number one emergency department wait times hospital in Ontario. We have the shortest decision to admit to bedtime in the province. And part of the uh, uh, credit goes to the use of the MedWork system. The secret is being able to have a bed to admit a patient to. When we're thinking about the emergency department, the most important thing to consider there is, again, patient flow. A patient can, be, uh, can come into the emergency department, require some care, uh, and then be discharged or, or have some sort of outpatient service, uh, which is important but not as critical to the flow of patients as they move through the hospital. The most critical piece is the decision to admit. What is important to the patient is that once that decision is made, that they can access a bed within a very short period of time. And that's one thing that MedWorks has helped us a great deal with at the St. Thomas Southern General Hospital. We can determine at that point, if it hasn't been caught in eMERGE, is this an appropriate admission? In other words, are, does that patient meet the criteria? If they don't, it's an instant signal to nursing staff and other clinical staff that why has this patient been admitted? Um, obviously, discharge should always start an admission, but this would even heighten that sense that we need to find the most appropriate placement for this patient that may not be in inpatient care. On the discharge end, we want to ensure that that patient no longer meets the criteria for hospital stay before they're discharged. Because the problem then, if they, if they still meet the need for in-hospital case patient stay according to that criteria, and they're discharged, the potential for that patient to be readmitted to hospital um, to affect their experience of care, in fact, in a negative way, is, is much higher. It's actually a very simple process that only takes a matter of, of, of a minute for a clinician who knows their patient because that's the source of the data that ultimately becomes this wonderful communication tool between the clinician, between leadership and the hospital that can be used in the moment on the day of care. Is this patient ready for discharge? Is this an appropriate admission? To longer term trends where you're starting to look at how we're actually utilizing these beds. How effectively are we managing flow? There's, there's two traditional big silos in healthcare, clinical and I'll say, for lack of a better term, administrative. There's not a good common language that connects these two. And MedWorks is that common language that is a bridge between the clinical, the reality of the patient experience, and the reality that most administrators have to use resources effectively and efficiently.